Saturday the 8th, I think I called Friday the 6th, and um, there's one boat up there. That's cool. We're looking for birds. It's supposed to be really sunny here. It doesn't look sunny at all. So yesterday was such low quality. Yesterday was such low quality. I'm, uh, I'm going to pre-shoot the one today and then post it. Uh, when I'm leaving because I have band you don't really have bandwidth well, I'll try this work but you don't really have bandwidth up where I'm from so this way um, so this way at least you get a some quality hopefully So we just had a pretty good rain for about a half an hour. Now it's supposed to dry off, and because uh, I had a lot of work to do on the back of the boat, I had to fiberglass it, change the spark plugs, and grind everything off, mount, remount everything, strap everything down, get back out on the pond. So I've only been on the pond for about five minutes. And that's okay. So I think yesterday we seen maybe five birds. One of them we believe was a robin, probably a gray robin. Uh, there was nothing going, like nothing on in the trees. There's nothing in the trees. And so today I got the side window open gives us uh, hopefully better chances to spot anything and so yesterday we had the wind coming from this direction which is west and today we got it coming from the east and uh, spring is supposed to start on Monday where the temperatures will be 17, 18, at least 19, 20 degrees each day. And so then by July, we should have, summer should show up. <laughs> We're out in the Atlantic, so. A lot of the rules don't apply to us. And it's been a very, very long winter. A wet, miserable early spring. Just miserable. So we'll get better conditions over the next. I think I see a bird in the shoreline. You might see him move. He's right on the right at the water's edge. Oh yeah, it's a red-breasted. I can't see him anymore. I can see him, but he's not. Now I do know he got muscles on this um, freshwater mussels. 
because I've seen the shells have quite a lunch. It was a decent size. I didn't see anything alive, but that don't mean nothing. And so I got pretty wet trying to get the boat in the water. I didn't bring a jacket because I was overconfident. <coughs> That's not unusual. So we're going to be uh, cruising on the north side of the lake, north shoreline. And this is a really shallow lake. I got a long shaft, so I'm not sure how close I can get. Uh, like. Video wise, it might not show up in your end, but I might see it. I should see it. And as we refine this, now I got the big camera with the big gimbal. I'm currently, like yesterday, I had no gimbal. I had it, but I was too stupid to use it. And today I got the gimbal hooked up to the cell phone because I want to upload the video right away. And if I do it with the big camera, you're talking about 30 or 40 gigabytes, right? For, uh, for a typical video. Now I changed the spark plug. I changed the spark plug, but I. I just put, took the choke off and it cut out already. That's kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, I can hear a bird. I gotta get the motor stirred before I get too close to it. Oh, which means I gotta get up. I gotta get up and do it the hard way. Well, it's not the hard way, it's the right way. So just, just get Choked it out again. Never had to choke on is the problem. At a low RPM, you gotta have the choke on. I was kind of hoping the spark plug would solve it, but next time. Next time. do low RPMs I'm gonna to have to leave choke down again. I'm just worried about carving up the spark plugs again. Because the spark plugs yesterday were pretty black. We got two loons up ahead. One dove. We got two. That's great. They're the biggest feeders are the looms. They eat the most. Oh, they're gone down, sorry. They eat the most fish. They don't, like they eat a they don't eat crazy numbers, but they 
of the birds to eat the most. That was pretty cool. I don't want to bother them, but not dirty air up ahead. gone again. You won't get close to them unfortunately. If I had the other camera running I could have zoomed in with the long range lens but I didn't. So that'll teach me. Right? But uh, if you show up again I might just shut the engine off. Here they are over there. One dove, two dove, they both dove again right away. So that's a good sign. There must be good fish here for the loons to hang out. Because they're the very short dogs. It's very shallow right where they're too. It's only a I think that's loons. He's got his wings up. Zipper is let go up here. I might have to come to a stop up here somewhere, and uh, I don't want to turn the camera off right now. So we'll just keep going. Another bird up in the tree. I don't know. Well, he's red breasted too. I can't really. I can see the. You can see him for a second and you see the branches moving. So that's pretty cool. There he is again. In that same spot, but The sun is going to come out in the next little while. It's not looking good. I can hear a bird that time over the engine. It could be the same bird. Hopefully it's a different one. So once we make this turn here, I'm just afraid to get too close to the shoreline. Where I'm not going to be—I'm not going to be able to put it in reverse without it stalling because of the choke, right? And it's raining. I don't know if it's going to show up in your end, but son of a gun! It's just raining. That's okay. The rain is behind us, but I might have to... Well, I can't close that because I won't be able to see. I don't want the lens to get wet. And so, um... I 
just move in so I can go back on to the... Oh, it's a good rain. Once it makes a turn, it'll be okay, but right now I'm getting it in the face. And hopefully the lens is not getting wet. I'm not worried about the camera, because the camera is waterproof. The cell phone is. Well, water resistance, anyway. It's supposed to be good for six feet for half an hour or something. Okay, I have to make the turn. So my main focus is also spoilers. And we got a little miller flying around in the air. That's the beauty of having a cabin, right? But if you want to shoot video, you gotta have um, you kind of gotta have one of your doors open. So I think I'm gonna put the front down. I'll put the front down and zip that up, and then. Uh, <coughs> Shoot at the side. And if I shift my weight over to the other side, then I'm inside enough that I don't have to worry about the rain. It's not like a heavy rain, it's uh, just a really strong mist. It'll probably go away in a little bit. So I'm not going to get wet like this anyway. Which is pretty brilliant, really. <laughs> not getting wet is a, is a good thing. The problem with flying, the, I'm going to fly the drone, but the problem with flying the drone is uh, there's nowhere to land it. I can't land it on this. It's just too expensive to take the chance, right? So if I can find some kind of spot where I can get a few shots. And because those blades will chop you up pretty good, right? If you're not careful. I'd like to see a few mink or something, or even one. Once the show is over, I gotta fix that zipper up here. Just gotta unzip it and re-zip everything. I'd like to see a fish jumping, that'd be pretty cool. I think the mist has stopped, I might unzip the front again. Yeah, it looks like we can unzip the front. <laughs> Unzip the front. Just bear with me. <laughs> We're running to the shoreline. Nice and flat calm, so if there's any fish jumping, 
definitely spot on. I think there's a little path in here. I'm gonna go and make a little circle. There's another spot over to our left a little bit. There's a bird. I'm loving it. I like to go into the forest here. I just wanna check out. Looks like the water's pretty deep. Plenty deep enough. And there's another spot up right there. Look at that. That looks like a better spot over there. I think that's what we're going to do is go check that out. Let's go ashore and see what we can find. Straight ahead is where we're going to go. already ground it. Motor's ground it. We'll pull the motor up. I think the wind is blowing us up on the beach. Hang up. Okay. <laughs> what do we got down here? Not this way. Paddle That's backwards, Dana. Oh, I can see some mussel shells. I can see some mussel shells. Teaches me. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's keep trying here. Hang on. Oh, this is Marsh. Hang on. We're almost there. All right. I think we're ready. Bird. I'm 
Got to catch my breath here. No spider webs. Let's keep walking. I'm looking for spider webs and birds and insects. There's a few mosquitoes. There's no predators to eat the mosquitoes. There's no like dragonflies or I'm guessing that's the same bird. So there's a couple of birds, hopefully. I know there's one. No spider webs whatsoever. There's not many insects, is there? A few of the little tiny mosquitoes. And a few tiny mosquitoes. And this is marshland, this is where you expect to see moose. You can't walk in this stuff. Well, you can, but then you're going to get a wet feet. A pitcher plant. Pretty rough looking. Well, mosquitoes, that's about it. I do see some mussel clams in the water. Uh, end the video, I guess, and uh, we'll, I'll keep going. A little bit surprised there's no spider webs. Eh? That was a bee, I think. Where'd he go? They usually don't travel too far. I wish I could see those birds. I think there's two of them. Let's go up this way. The force in the Atlantic, they're very stunted. They don't get a lot of sunlight. And you can see this uh, living moth. We got some mushrooms, fresh mushrooms, which I'm not sure of. I 
can see sun in the sun is poking out. A couple more birds. I think it's a couple more birds I'm up in this direction. Pretty incredible no spider webs though. Something was there. I'm assuming it was a moose. Walked through here. Because they like the moss areas. There's easy feeding for them, right? Yeah, and, uh, it was just a couple mosquitoes, that's all we really seen. No spider webs. No spider webs whatsoever. Be nice to see something. Little breeze. There's a few blue patches of the sky. It'd be nicer if you had a bit of sunlight because you can see the reflections of uh, spider webs if they were here, but I don't see any spider webs. It's kind of cool though to hear just a little bird in the background. That's unusual, <laughs> believe it or not. Yeah, you think you run into a few insects up here, right? Something anyway. Well, I'm not sure. Let's go back to the boat. There's another mushrooms. There's another one. There's nothing munching on them. And all the new shoots, there's nothing. Usually, uh, like the moose like the little shoots, right? At the end of the.
gonna get some blue sky. Let's keep going. Let's keep her going, I guess. She took the beer spray with me. So all of that is open up now, down to the zipper. Gonna have to fix that at some point. It's ready to get worse. I'm kind of hoping I keep the video going for a bit while longer. Well, let's keep going. Checking out all these little nooks and crannies. Little back eddies, right? Get shallow. I don't know if it's just that side or all those little, uh, it's raining again. There's a bunch of those little water spiders. They walk on the water, skate on the water. You know the ones that happen there? So normally you expect to see some fish or something. You see a bunch of them. Oh, here comes the rain. Down the sea to shower. 